Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. A big thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support. I am really honored to be addressing you via this platform. I respect you. I know that is why I do research before I present myself. Because I know I am addressing qualified people higher than me in political offices, in various professions. If you're watching this video, let us grow together. Kindly make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is so important because next time once upload a video, YouTube automatically notifies you. Things are running thick in the Republic of Kenya. And uh, the impeached deputy president, Rigadi Gashawa, has now moved to the Court of Appeal to stop the High Court proceedings on impeachment cases, citing is dissatisfied with the three-judge bench. Excuse me. Um, last week, we were treated into a dramatic court sessions where the lawyers associated with the regard the Gashawa, led by the senior counsel Paul Mwite, rejected the three judge bench demanding for their uh, recusal. Recusal means kujiondoa. The first, the, this, is how, this is the chronology of events. When they came to court for the first session, they claimed the three judge bench were illegally constituted because Mother Kome was out of the country and the three judge bench was constituted by the DCJ, that is the Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Muilu. Then the lawyers took to argue that Philomena Muilu, because she has delegated powers, she is the deputy, and she is acting in the capacity, in absentia of the Chief Justice, means she relies on delegated powers. When the Chief Justice is away, she is delegated powers. It's not our powers. That's how judges were arguing. I'm just borrowing an argument from those judges. Now, so they argued that since DCJ has borrowed authority, she cannot also lend the borrowed authority to other people who are the judges. So they said, according to where they sit, the DCJ did not qualify to constitute the bench to listen to Gashawa's case. But later on, the judges gave a ruling in reference to so many cases and in reference to the constitution. And they said, Philomena Muilu, the DCJ, has all powers constitutionally to constitute a bench. So they said they are legally qualified to listen to the case. When that was put aside, the lawyers again came with another strategy. They started linking those judges to the respondents. They linked some to Amazon King and they said because of that, they should rule recuso and another bench is constituted. In short, the whole of these scenarios told us or maybe showed us that Gashawa did not have any trust towards the three judges. And according to Gashawa, he felt that they are not going to rule in his favor and maybe they had a predetermined ruling. And of course, personally, I felt that. Munakumbuka nikiwambia, the three judge bench is not going to give any different decision from the decision from the National Assembly and the Senate. Some of you mukanitusi. Mukasema kaka, you are doing guesswork. You are not God. I don't know what. But me and Gashawa, we are reading from the same script. 
I said, those judges cannot give a different answer away from what was given. Gashawas also said the same. He has no faith in those judges because they have a predetermined ruling or judgment. But some of you, okay, nyenye ni mashabiki wangu, staki ni wangalesha vibaya, but some of you, you take too much time to comprehend my statements. You comment too quickly. Mimi, even before those judges were constituted, niliwambia mapema, nikawambia, hata kama gashawa, atakimbia kotini, bado, hawa majaji watateuliwa, hawata peana majibu tofauti, na yale ya National Assembly, pamoja na Senate. I'm happy, that now Rigadi, has expressed the same concerns I had. Yeah? Amesema, I have no faith in them. That is why he has decided to move to the court of appeal to stop those judges from listening to his case. The question we are asking now, will he succeed in doing that? Because the three judge bench, remember, was a request by Paul Mitter. Paul Mitter requested and said, My lords, I pray that Mother Kome to constitute a bench to listen to this case. Paul Mwite mwenye wendi alisema akambia maaka makwamba kulingana na mawakili wanao muwakilisha rigadhi tuko na ombi na ombi letu ni hili majaji watatu wateuliwe ili waende kusikiza kesi majaji watatu wakateuliwa tena hawataki hao majaji tena wamesema tunaenda the court of appeal kwa sababu shisi Atuna imani na hawa majages. The case now takes a new twist. I don't know if he's going to get an order. But my work and your work is to watch and see what the court of appeal is going to say. God bless you ladies and gentlemen. If you want to become a member of Kaka Sungura's YouTube channel. There is a button there indicated join. Please. Click that button and there are some procedures that you follow. After clicking, follow those procedures and in that way you support Kaka Shungura. If you are in WhatsApp groups, kindly make sure you share my links in those WhatsApp groups. And um, make sure you subscribe before you watch. We need to reach 120,000 subscribers and then we start a journey to 130, 140, 150, 200. We move up to 1 million. And our target is exactly 1 million subscribers. Tukifika hapo, bas, mimi royangu itatulia. God bless you. See you in the next episode. Asante sana.